Councilman Scrubsome Emmer. Well, uh, Madam Speaker, it's actually a matter of uh, personal privilege. Well, uh, State your point of personal privilege. Well, I actually would Representative Sertich yield for a question. He will yield. Representative Emmer. Representative Sertich, I've asked you uh, last April, we had a motion, uh, we had a vote. I asked you last May, we had a vote. I asked you a couple weeks ago about what's happening with the investigation that we asked for seven, eight months ago into the Attorney General's office. And uh, now I think the concerns have been escalated. There's a, a report this morning that one of the lawyers from the complex litigation unit which has already been decimated by uh, what's happening in the office, uh, was relieved last night or placed on administrative leave uh, simply because she had uh, made a statement about her concerns with uh, certain uh, ethical issues within the office. Uh, and it, it relates to not only uh, concerns about, uh, uh, the quote is, that she had ethical concerns about being ordered by the Attorney General, Lori Swanson, to find a defendant and file a lawsuit on a particular issue within a week. Uh, these are very serious allegations, uh, Representative Sertich. We've asked time and time again, you assured me last spring, you assured us, the body, this would not be swept under the rug. Uh, it appears that now is the time to do something about it. Amy Lawler uh, and folks in her position could use a voice, and I'm interested to know uh, what action are you taking to schedule a hearing in the Rules Committee on the motion that was referred to your committee last uh, April and May. Representative Sertich. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Members, uh, I've yet to schedule a hearing on that motion. Representative Emmer. Madam Speaker, will Representative Sertich yield? He will yield. I, Representative that was Emmer. rather quick, and I'm sorry, my ears don't work as well as they used to. Uh, for the record, I think you said that you're going to schedule a hearing on that issue. You're not going to schedule a hearing on that issue, Representative Sertich? Representative Sertich. Madam Speaker, Representative Emmer, I prefer you not put words in my mouth. I said I have yet to schedule a hearing on that. Representative Emmer. Thank you. Uh, Representative Sertich, I wasn't, uh, please forgive me, I wasn't trying to put words in your mouth. I was trying to understand the words that were coming out of your mouth. Uh, Madam Speaker, will Representative Sertich yield to another question? He will yield. Representative Emmer. All right. Representative Sertich, uh, you have yet to schedule it. Will you tell us uh, when do you intend to have a hearing on this issue? Representative Sertich. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Members, I am not sure. Representative Emmer. Madam Speaker, will Representative Sertich yield to a question? He will yield. Representative Emmer. So, Representative Sertich, are we just going to keep this thing uh, under the rug, or are we actually going to take some action and find out with the legislature's uh, supervisor supervisory capacity, find out what's going on and make sure that the Attorney General's office is running the way that it should? Representative Sertich. Madam Speaker and members, I. Uh, I have looked into this issue. I know that uh, the press has looked into this issue uh, as well, and I don't think the full story has been told yet on all accounts. So I'm sorry if that's not enough information for you, but we have yet to schedule a hearing on this issue. Madam Representative Emmer. Uh, will Representative Sertich yield to a question? He will yield. Representative Emmer. So Representative Sertich, are you not concerned about the Attorney General's office and their attempt to unionize? Representative Sertich. Uh, Madam Speaker, Representative Emmer, I don't believe my concern or my feelings on this issue matter in this. Representative Emmer. Last question, um, Madam Speaker, if Representative uh, Sertich will yield. He will yield. Representative Emmer. So on the floor today, will you at least give me an answer, uh, yes or no? Are you going to have a hearing before this session is over or no? Representative Sertich. Madam Speaker and members, I am not sure yet.